Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero. In between episodes, I have destroyed yet another mud hut to make room for another warehouse. These are the things I have on my supply. If you are so interested in figuring out what they are, they're all like such minor things uh, that it feels like it's really not worth spending too much time on. But alas, uh, massive spoilers for yesterday. Uh, we beat Omega, a.k.a. The game's god figure. <laughs> so, we beat the game. However, I kind of feel like going in to try and win with the other characters. Uh, for now, that's my goal, I guess. We'll just do we'll do that. Do we have the ability to make another mud hut or anything? We do not. I mean, we could maybe get the ingredients to do it or something. Uh, but other than that, I think, like... Big upgrades to get. I think we want to uh, end up getting this stuff here. I think that that would be a good idea. Getting the Smith's Forge is a is a I think the final card that we don't have. I could be wrong. I think it's the last card we don't have. So we're gonna be playing as the warrior. Probably going for a focus on like the rocks and rivers and meadows. Uh, probably trying to get the rocks down, but mostly trying to duplicate the meadows. I think. I think, I think, with the with the river effect there, temporal beacon to get the extra effect of the meadows uh, during the boss fights, outposts. I know they're going to steal the equipment from our boss fights, which is something that is, I guess, a problem. But at the same time, I think it's I think it's all right. Uh, we can actually probably pick up the chrono crystals now that I think about it, since we are going to be rocking the. Uh... No, that has no effect with the uh, the suburbs actually. Because it's not every day. Doubles the effect of a day's passing. All right. But, yeah, we got uh, our village. We got our wheat fields. Vampire mansion. Spider cocoon. Uh, all these things. We're not rocking the blood grove. We could. But that would require us to bring both the grove and the blood grove. It's a tempting idea. For sure. But I think we're just going to pop in. I imagine this is going to be much more challenging than it was with the necromancer. That is my... My educated guess here. So, interesting thing with this. Uh, we will have to build not only around here to prevent the uh, the buildings from the necromancer or the uh, the lich. We're going to have to build all the way. Like, one, two, three. Like, one tile surrounding and then additional one tile here, one tile here, one tile here, one tile here. So, with that in mind... I feel like it... Uh, I feel like it makes sense to put down the arsenal, right? Like, right there. That keeps it in, in the uh, the radius. That's a very important thing for us to think about right now. Is really just, like, how can we fill these tiles up with things that are going to be uh, smart to fill them up with? It's, it's, it's truly just the facts. Uh, boy, oh boy. I mean, we could do this. It's, not, it's certainly not terrible just to add more. Uh, we'll obviously have to fight the... Uh, the weirdos, but if we put down vampire mansions, we wouldn't have to fight them, we'd just fight the vampires. Uh, this is... It's, it's, it's a weird one. I want it down, but boy, it's not really... There's no good spot to, to overlap as little as possible, really. Like... No matter what, we're gonna be overlapping quite a bit here, and I don't like it. So we're going around this way. Uh, and I will probably end up Vampire Mansion villaging this. Uh, and then with the same token, we'll put a meadow there just to block a building there. So we've already got, what, like four or five spots donezo. It's pretty satisfying. Uh, okay. So I want to put an outpost here and here. I don't know if we'll get that in time. Uh, boom, boom. So we can actually happily put a bookery there. I think we, uh, I think we're good to go with the meadows, putting them down in other, wait, actually, what else, what would we put here otherwise? There we go. There we go. Just trying to do as much as we can to block that garbage out. Uh, oh, I want to put down a wheat field, but it does not matter yet. Okay, rocks. Okay, 
rocks. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. If we if we build it here, we miss out on just one one adjacency bonus of the mountain. I feel like I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, I want to get a village. I want to get a uh, ooh, suburbs. Okay. Village, and I want to get the wheat field down by it. But it's not looking too good, and I want a vampire mansion. We got our bookery, which is going to help us find things that we want. But also, if we have one thing that we want, but we need another piece, then we're kind of screwed there. So, like, if we, if we don't get the village... Uh, I can't be mad. The suburb is really good. But at the same time... Rip. Another suburb. I would go as far as to say this suburb is way more than just good. It is, like, it's incredible. So what do we have? We have HP, attack, speed, regen, damage, retaliation, damage. Not that I really wanted to care too much about right now. Uh, do I want the bookery to be depleted? Nah, nah. The main reason I have them is, is not for the sake of actual depletion. I actually do want to just use them to cycle our deck. As simple as that. Okay. All right, but yeah, the uh, the first boss shows up way quicker than you uh, you may anticipate. See, I know that this is going to steal our equipment. I know it's going to steal our equipment. That's the downside of playing the warrior with the outpost versus. Oh wait, hold on. How are we doing this? Uh, wait, right here? Here, one, two, three, four, or here, one, two, three, four, five. There, village. Knowing full well it's going to make this spooky, spooky fight happen. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five. Five of these Dunzo. There's one. Oh my god, there's so much! One, two, three, four, five, six. There's still six whole slots left unfilled. That we hopefully will be able to get the uh, the unique requirement things in order to uh, to fulfill those. Uh what do we even have as like on tile things? I mean it has to be the village. It has to be. Otherwise. We just don't have the stuff for it. Right? I, I can't... Can't picture anything else right off the top of my head right now that we have in our deck that goes on... On slots. Right now. Spider. I mean, this is nice. I want to save this for an outpost, though. I guess, is there a reason not to put it here? Not really. Not a strong reason, at the very least. It's, uh, like, are we putting this stuff in the best places it will be going in the future? No. No. Not the best at all, but still. Okay, so what do we got? We got defense, attack speed. This is obviously uh, an increase. We get counter and vampirism basically for free by upgrading that there. Alright. Body them. Did we not bring the village? I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure we brought the uh, the dang village. After receiving this effect on every loop, receive a bar of... Okay. I feel like the chance to stun enemies is a pretty good one there. Oh, we got a couple things to look at. Retaliation damage 11. Damage to all 2. I'm... I'm happy to take some damage to all. Happy, 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 happy to. Hmm. What's the big thing we're looking for? I mean, like, uh, defense and regen are certainly fun. Okay, we gotta... 
keep in mind we're going to want the river to run through here. I mean, we can definitely put that down. No, no real problem. I feel like the stun actually has a, a real good chance to, to put in a lot of work for us. Okay, this the spider plus the necromancer fight would be spooky if we did not have the... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh... Yeah. There shouldn't be anything that gets lost there. Oh, boy. It's definitely a... We're almost at the point where we'll summon the boss. Do we want to hold off? Do we want to hold off one loop? We might, because if we... Oh, okay. Well, that's really good. I know what that's going to do. But, boy, we, we, like, really just got most of the stuff we needed. How many spots are missing now? One, two, three. Is that really that bad? All things considered, compared to just getting the ability to fight him this early. Oh, shoot. We didn't, we didn't get a spot him anyway. I feel like being able to fight him on loop three is maybe more important. God dang, we're just not getting <laughs> not hitting that level, though. Okay, are we paused? We are paused. So the suburb should do it, right? Stick. The suburb should... Oh, do it. Yes. All right. You know, here's the thing. So you got three, right? Only three? One, two, three. Yeah, that's not that bad. We can oblivion those things. Here's the thing. We lose. This is what we lose. I... I don't really care. That doesn't bother me that much. How is it possible? Shut up. We've got a score to settle. It's always the same nowadays. Uh, health and damage are increased by 5% for every Lich's Palace. It's only a 15% increase. That's so much better than what we've been doing. And we also have our little helpers here. So far, so fine. I, I think we're... I think we actually have this relatively easily. We will not get any loot from it. I'm well aware of that downside to having the outpost here. However, just making that the easiest lich fight that we've probably ever had is uh, it's, it makes it all worth it. Goodbye there. Next time I'll bring something new on this punching bag. Yes, of course. I do wish there was a couple different lines there. Do, 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 do. I wish we could put down this. Okay. It's like a little grabby hand, like a little robot grabby hand. So do we have to deal with that? That's not that concerning to me, though. Outpost steals some of the stuff, don't you know? Damage all, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it steals, like, some of the best stuff, but it doesn't steal everything. It does not steal everything. I think we might be done with outposts, though, already. Like, just like that. With the character we are, you know? We might honestly be done with them already. But I think it's important enough to have them, you know? To, to keep them there. And having a card that's okay to cycle is genuinely not a problem. Like, that's... I would consider that a benefit when you have the bookery. Okay, another rock. Oh, but of course, it's been so long since we brought these stinkers. A uh, chance to perform a three-hit combo with each hit dealing 50% damage. I mean, it's... We're not get, we, we do not have the attack speed with, so that's not really... Okay, this needs to go. There's not really any kind of a risk in regards to that. So that's good at the very least. That's good at the very least. We will not... I mean, maybe. Three hits. I assume it's going to use the meter the same way. Uh, hold on. Bup, 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 bup. So it's going to go down 
three times as fast is my guess but as mentioned since we don't have the forest in here i don't think we're really worried about running out of attack speed this is looking good so far this is looking very good i didn't need to look at that i just knew it was going to be doing more damage i, I knew that for sure so far, so fine, so far, so fine. This is a little spooky. It's a little spooky. Oh my god. We're, we're pretty darn good, actually. We're pretty darn good. I think we can handle these. The wheat field, I would put down, of course, if we had, like, a good spot for it. This does not bother me in the slightest. Ooh. Double ooh. Uh, damage to all attack speed regen. Cool. A bookery. So that was our triple attack right there. We have actually like a really pretty solid draw here. Um, we could put up here and then we would cycle, cycle thrice. I like the idea of cycling after the spiders instead, though. Uh, what do we have for enemies? Hmm. So we, we could put a a wheat field and then a, it would be a village that would block off that entirely for whatever it's worth uh we could put this here and then a wheat field there which would scare away one of the spiders which isn't that bad You know what? Sure. It's a little it's a little stanky. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. But that's okay. Speaking of stanky. Yeah, we're we're gonna pretty much just use the oblivions to get rid of all the stuff that come from the uh, the villages and the mountains, I assume. want to die uh, every freaking time we try to preempt it it's just it just fills up because in my head I'm like of course it's going to just fill right there that's fine I don't really care somebody does but it's not me and the person who cares shouldn't <laughs> oh boy it's fine it's a missed opportunity it's a missed HP of what like 15 <laughs> 15 health we've missed by uh, by goofing that there am i right it just doesn't really matter right right all right good stuff oh we'll probably want to put down more of uh more of the that's uh, yes more of that Uh, we'll want to put it in a spot where we can put down vampires, though. Probably. Or maybe not. If we put it here, they're going to be mostly scared away by scarecrows. <laughs> So that's also kind of tempting in a different kind of a way. Bo 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 bo. Good. Wow. 
one, okay. Point five times loop for passing an adjacent roadside tile. I'm going to go with Card Sharp, especially since we have, um, since we have the Bookeries. I wanted those. I, I, I meant to play them. We're getting garbage for, uh, for weaponry. Yeah, I want all this. I want all that. So if we go down... And then up. Can we do that? Maybe just go all the way up. All the way down. All the way across that way. Eh? If we're doing that, then we can close this stuff off up here. Hmm. Should be a hell of a lot of regen per day, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that many days, you know? It's kinda uh, it's a little little goofy. Attack speed vampirism, I don't hate it. I do not hate cycling our uh I'm actually gonna put this right here. Cycling our, our wheat fields, our wheat fields either. Yep, stole my goods. Understandable. Can we just do the same thing? Yeah, okay, so... Trying to trying to process this. We could do the village again, uh, but down like here. Oop. I tra traded my rock for a rock. Ba, ba, ba. If we got enough bookeries, we could just never put down the rocks. We could only put down the mountains. That is another interesting idea. Oh, you goofballs. Okay. Now we could just go up there too, but... This is another... It's another summon of a... Of a... Of a not a village, a bandit camp. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll work on it. Well, we can oblivion it. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I thought he was going to scare him away. I guess he scared somebody else away. Good. It's just a better better item. Through and through. So yeah, he's going to scare away this... Uh, he's scaring away the spider. That's suboptimal. I don't like that. So that was the triple attack, huh? Woo. Nice. Damage to all. Down. Attack speed up. Evasion up. Damage. Just straight up actual damage up. I'm going to say nah. I like the damage to all, even if we're kind of like accidentally countering ourselves by doing this kind of setup over there. Okay. Just the temporary defense because we attacked three times. Some garlic. Got some garlic. Very interesting. Okay, we can put down the mountain and maybe summon this boss. Do we want to summon the boss? I mean, it's loop six. So there's 
there's something to it. Let's just, we'll try. I mean, maybe we, uh, maybe we blitz it. We just truly, fine. We do have our helpers, that is right. I don't think that the vampirism actually applies. Could you please stop? I refuse to arms! Maybe our triple thing will be, our triple attack will be really helpful. Oh, it actually seemed really good there. We're gonna lose our pals, that's gonna make this much harder. I actually think we are screwed? We have a, oh, we're screwed. We have a revive, but this is not good. This is not good at all. We're technically winning, but we were, we were doing uh, a much faster pace earlier because we had our friends. We might die. We're almost certainly going to die, in fact, but Oh god, what the hell? Okay. I was gonna say we'll die, but we'll probably be able to come back and win, but now I actually think we're dead. Because they get to attack twice there? That's really stupid. That's really stupid. Um uh, Is it worth the take all? What are we losing, really? I'm going to say fine, because we just, like... We get one of the skulls by doing the take-all, so it's, like, the amount that we're losing. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, man. Okay, so what do we learn? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do another one in that act right now, because then the episode will actually be two hours long, and that's way too much. Um, what would we change? Um, the meadow situation kind of garbage it didn't really work um not not good enough just just not good enough at all uh like genuinely maybe we just rock that or maybe we do bring in the forests you know maybe we bring in the forests i mean we could do the we could do the oasis, the oasis and the oasis in the suburbs. That's certainly a strategy. I think maybe that's what we do because the oasis card is really good. I like the forest a lot, of course. Just killing enemies before they even show up. Uh, I guess that's maybe the case. However, let us try out zero milestone here evenly changes monster strength depending on the position on the road i'm certainly going to just need to see how the hell that works let's just go to act two here oh okay so distance weakens the ones close strengthens the ones far uh, if they're stronger, if they're strong, like, do they give more loot as well? More loot and experience, or do they true? Do they just get more difficult and that's it? So how hard are, are how hard is this going to be? I, ah, increased by 1%. Interesting. So we could like decreased by four percent. Trying to figure out the whole suburbs with the river thing. Uh, but you know what would be good? Overstacking with the uh, the spiders here, minus eight percent damage. Oh no, we we've janked it. Unless we bring it down from the top here.
and then we'll come all the way back up that way. Yeah, that's actually... That'll be fine. But we definitely should have probably put the tubbers in these corners instead. If this is our plan, which I think it... I think it is. Okay, this is not... Okay, weird. So... Reduced by 9%. So if we fight enemies on the tile, they're reduced by... I guess 10%. I suppose, I suppose. Well, I guess we would want this to duplicate the suburbs. Ah, this is super weird. It's super weird. We want to run a line all the way down. We don't want that many of these, really. We just want all of the Oasis tiles. So we run all that down here. Would we, wait. Would we need it to be too thick? Two tiles thick? I don't even know if we need it to be two tiles thick at that point. If I'm not going to be putting down another one of those. Oh, this is super strange. It is super strange. I mean, we'll just, we'll just rock it. We'll see what happens. Uh, HP, attack speed, vampirism, regen. No reason not to. Ba, 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 ba. So they get the the buff is way higher than the the nerf, right? Cuz like or is this the perfect maybe this is actually like the perfect opposite from where So yeah, this is not this one's not an oasis. Why have I seen it as an oasis sometimes but not other times? I don't that I don't get. Like visually I know it always just Pretty much stays the same. I'm just trying to put down the deserts and uh, ignore the the dunes, because I don't want um, I don't want the HP downgrade too much. I just want the oasis. I don't want the HP downgrade. Uh, but yeah, if we go all the way down and then we just loop it right back up. No, if we loop it right back up, no, that wouldn't work because then this one won't be oasis. Oasis. Unless we do fill it up on the side. We have so many freaking wheat fields. Give me a bookery. Where's my bookery? But that, that may be the way if we don't want that many of these tiles. Because otherwise, if we put it here. Oh, God. I hate that. <laughs> uh. I was looking for a spider to put here. So if this is that, and then this is Oasis, then we could put this here. I just, I don't know. We might not be able to get the adjacency bonus on that there. And I think that's just fine. We'll just save all this garbage. Save all this garbage. Suburb. I mean, we're getting we're getting all these. Like that's, I'm for it. Sure, max HP counter. Sounds good. It's it's effectively getting attack speed upgrade without ever having to worry about the uh, the max cap, uh, getting tired, everything like that. It's right by the uh, the zero milestone, so hopefully that 10% is good enough, I guess. It's kind of just my thought, I suppose, at the moment, at the moment. We do have a reason to put that in our wheat fields now, I suppose. Just 
defense is increased by one every loop. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Alright. But yeah, we could probably, like, we can put enemies to spawn on that zero milestone as well. This is going to be interesting. Because we're not that strong. But we're not that weak either, I guess. Clearly. Finally a bookery. Finally a bookery. That's actually pretty good. I kind of wish we just put down another one of these there. Let's get stupid. Let's get freaking dumb. Count lands. There. What shall I oblivion? I guess we don't oblivion anything, and this is just going to get cycled out. It's a bummer. I guess I could have oblivion. I guess I still could oblivion this. This is stupid. <laughs> I'm a dummy. What can I say? They get a negative two damage penalty at this distance. Hmm. I mean, they should get really wrecked when they're on the zero milestone, right? One would think. So yeah, they still have the 1% penalty here. I thought that I was close enough to get assistance. But alas, I am not. I'm... Regardless, I'm not too worried. Like, this is probably the hardest fight we have. Uh... I guess. Sure. Sure. Let's make sure we put down more uh, temporal beacons. Especially... God, I really wish that was just up a little bit more. Sure. Is that going to jank it? No, I mean, it's not great, but it's going to be it's fine. Should I? I'm going to be fine. I'll put down a sand dune. Just since that's an empty spot otherwise. But yeah, we want the days to move quicker so we get more sunlight blasts at this point. Uh, damage to all is very good. Silver pendant. What the hell does that do? Minus damage from vampires. Yeah. <laughs> We keep on getting stuff that lets us hard counter vampires. What is that? Defense evasion. Alright. Uh, the outpost. I forgot we even had this. Uh, there's really no reason not to have two of them there. I mean, we just want as many fights by the uh, little spot right there as we can. Just as many as possible. Okay, we're going to start turning there. Oh, we're actually going to be able to put down a couple. Get a couple adjacency boosts there. And I think we're done with the outposts. <laughs> I think that that's good enough. Why not? It's Act 2. Boink! The days do move quick. Uh, pretty quick. Pretty quick, pretty quick, pretty quick. Pretty quick. Hmm. 
It's still pretty close. We do, uh, we do wreck. Oh, yeah, we do wreck. Regen and vampirism, sure. I would rather take the damage to all. Hmm. Alright. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Oh, I read that. I read that as a minus 5%. Yeah, I mean, 9% penalty. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. No, no, it's good. But yeah, I mean, I think we can handle these. I... I don't know, the Zero Meridian. Hello, I have a bookery. That's what that is. That's basically what that that choice was. It's the hello I have a bookery choice. Ooh. Defense attack speed, regen vampirism. These are some good things. These are some good things. Yeah, we spam it. Cool. More bookery. Suburbs again. I mean, I'm not against it. Another spider cocoon. Shall I? Is it a bit much? Sure, but oh well at the same time. I want more bookeries. Alright, we're halfway through this one. Not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, we got some cards to use for sure. Temporal beacon. Bring it. I mean, we want the days to go really fast because then we get that super crazy move. That's really just it. <laughs> That's really just it. So we don't have the regen, you know? We have a planning phase on, we do. Good. Suburb. Yeah. Yeah. Watch, we're gonna get a, a village right after we uh, run out of the Oblivions. Oh, another battlefield. We want another battlefield, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe we can handle it. So many chests! So much loot! We lose a little bit of damage all we gain counter. Eh. Eh. It's all stank. I love I love that visual. It's such a fun blast. We've gotten a shockingly low amount of bookeries. And yeah, I, I don't want to put that in the outpost because I don't want to get my loot stolen, basically. It's probably worth it in some scenarios, but I don't think it's necessarily that worth it right now. Blast! Oh my god, that's a one-shot. It's a freaking one-shot! It's beautiful! Another 
river. All right, we might want to start putting down the dunes. Oh, there we go. Shoot. It's fine. It's fine that it only... Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Cycle a little bit more. We got another spider. Got another desert there. So it's looking like we might not need to actually put down that after all. Uh, more suburbs, more desert. Good. Desert. Desert. Spiders. More spiders? Uh, more spiders. I guess I'm looking for vampire mansions, too, at this point, just for, uh, for the hell of it. Vampire mansions, beacons. The whole shebang. We have a... When did we get this level up? Rude! Sweep a blind! Sweep a blind! We're gonna get our day blast, and it's gonna be at the last second when it's... Oh, no, we're... I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong. Rude. Uh... Oh, I guess we could probably go through there, couldn't we? Day blast! <laughs> I would love more, uh, more beacons. I would, I would. Set up another, uh, ooh, another count, count's land as well, I suppose, right? Closer to the Merid Meridian? I don't know. <laughs> Why the hell not? It's a it's a fun way of shaking things up that we have not done yet. Are we finally gonna get something useful? I mean sure. We'll take that. We got an oblivion. Give me a day blast. Damage all two, counter vampirism. I'll just, I'll just keep the damage to all. Why not? I realize I probably just picked this zone to get revenge on stinky, stinky lady boss. Okay. This is fine. It's fine. We're, we're going to run out of these otherwise. Whatever. <laughs> Why not? Another bookery. Awesome. Bookery is like become probably my favorite card in the game. I think <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. So we don't need another one there. So we'll just do it here. Anything to oblivion. We're gonna put the vampire here, by the way. I, I, I don't worry, I didn't jank it as much as it looked like. I also don't know if we're even gonna be doing that, so who cares? Damage to all doesn't do anything to the mirrors, does it? On the boss? I wish it did, but I don't think it does. I don't think so, but I don't know. I certainly don't know. And I would never claim to know. Eh. 
Die. Die. Boink. Let's ruin another village. Yeah. Was that the sound of three counts lands being made at the same time? I gotta build for the boss. Gotta build for the boss. Orb of what? The afterlife. Of the afterlife. We're almost done here. Uh, fighting, fighting the boss on loop six, A. Eh? On loop six, A. Eh? Yeah, we do want the damage to all those, the thing. It's a ghost. It's a ghost of a ghost. Stop it. I think we're fine. I think we're fine to just say whatever. Will we get revenge on the boss? I sure as hell hope so. She embarrassed me. The stinker. Alright. Because I think this was Act 2. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this was Act 2. Okay. Okay, look at the spider town. This meridian item is certainly, certainly neat. Finally, another temporal beacon. They don't stack, right? They don't stack. That'd be good. Let's find out. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put down the deserts. I feel like we don't need to bother with any more um, suburbs because we're not going to... Well... There's a lot of fights left. <laughs> There's a lot of fights left. So maybe, maybe we will. Another village. Why not, I guess? Basically just hoping for rivers? <laughs> the attack speed. Okay. I mean, yeah, the, the thing is, these suburb placements may legitimately be worthless. Did I just say I'm not going to get more than three rivers and close off the loop? Let's do that. Clo close it off. I probably won't get more than three rivers. Probably. this now max hp evasion vampires i mean that's good we take those we take those we're gonna get more than three rivers <laughs> it's okay maybe oh you suck so now we can see what happens there i got you got you got you They don't stack. It's the shipwreck. I've been in the chipmunk. Chipwrecked. And the chipmunk singular, apparently. Uh, this is a way to get more experience.
Sure. Sure. Ah, it's the vampire mage. Hello. And goodbye. We did it. I don't know if that applies to the mirrors as well. Okay. I shall temporal beak in there just in case it does stack. Which it doesn't. Why didn't they scare her away? I mean, it didn't matter. But why? Okay. Gotta be a better ring. Defense counter evasion. Attack speed counter evasion. Vampirism. I don't care about counter. I don't care about counter. Not for this. Not for this. So I, I care less about the damage for all because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work for the mirrors. I don't know though. I don't know. It's. I feel like our our passive might, like the the special daylight blast. It could, but it probably won't. Oops. No point in that. Look at that. We get a nice uh, little closed, closed river there. Uh, no reason. No reason not to either, though. All right. I don't know how well this is going to go. Minus 32% attack speed. Oh my god. Bodied. Body, body the floor, bullet, bullet the roof. Can I get my day blast? Here we go. It better blast all these mirrors. It doesn't. They look like they do take damage. Well, it's here's the thing. They don't. It's not that they're actually units, is the thing. They're not actually units at all. They're just a visual of her passive. Seems like really just like fast attack speed is the way to make her die very easily. Alas, alas. Thank you for the stuff. I'm going home. All right. Well, okie dokie then. What's the war camp do again? Another 4% to the hero strength. Certainly something I am interested in. Okay, so we just need one, uh, one stone. Boy. Blasted be me furnace. I used to be just a cabin boy on an orlop deck, and now I'm a bonafide captain of the blacksmith and black battle blah 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 battleship. <laughs> Yo ho ho, it's my turn to keep this furnace down when you can expect plenty of deliveries from my fiery harbor, I swear on me clippers. From now on, every time you embark on a new expedition, your cargo hold will be full of weapons. Smith's forge. Removes up to two items from your inventory. Adds an effect for ten hits for an item. Lowers incoming damage by 20%. Lowers incoming damage by 20%. Okay. I mean, sure, it's a new item. It's a new item, so sure. Uh... As far as, like, I don't know. 
Zero milestone. I actually, I liked it. I liked it. For the sake of the warrior, I think that the zero milestone is uh, maybe on par with the arsenal for effectiveness. Maybe better? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I like it, though. I like it a lot. Uh, hmm. 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 I think that that... Like, I was kind of just... Uh, I was effectively playtesting the build for Act 4. And I think that it might be good. I think it might be enough. It, it's tough to say, certainly. But I think it might it might be it might be enough. Uh what else would we want to bring really? What else would we really want to bring? The really just the biggest disappointment is that we don't have the blood grove. But like we kind of have to bring the forest for that and it's like do I really 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 want to bring the forest just to do that? We have the bookery. It's not like that big of a commitment, really. But, uh, regardless, it's something for us to worry about in the future. I believe we have all of the base tiles unlocked. Like that's a synergy thing. I, I, I maybe I'm wrong. roadside tile. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the blacksmith is one of them. One of them there. We got all the golden cards, all the special cards, all the landscape cards. I Yeah, I'm missing something else here. So I'm guessing... I am guessing that one of these is the blacksmith. And I don't know what we're missing here. Interesting. Alas, alas, that is that. There might be a, an unlock or something left. Speaking of, let's just do a little bit of a uh, pop. Good stuff. But alas, if you want more loop hero here, more post-win loop hero action, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and hey, we will we'll, we'll keep it up for, for a little bit longer. There's I don't know how much gas there is left in the tank for the series if this was like not for a series i'd probably continue playing this for quite a while but you know like we we, we really did the big thing we did the big thing uh, i'd like to win with the characters uh the different characters then maybe we call it from there but alas thank you for watching check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye